is Malaysian partner Bin Chen Tan. Two players who've been there, done that, and bought every single T-shirt against the Irish duo. I have to uh, rein in my excitement in this one. <laughs> Sam McGee, world junior champion in men's doubles from 2009, when he played alongside Sylvain Grosjean, partnering in a new partnership. Irish youngster Jonathan Dolan who had a really good win in the men's singles yesterday beating Peter Kukal. So uh, on, on paper this should be reasonably comfortable for the men in black but I uh, don't write these Irish boys off too early I think uh, they certainly have something to offer. I'm Mark Phelan once again and Leon is alongside me again for this match. Yeah, have him handcuffed to the chair <laughs> so we can't leave. <laughs> a little overexcited there, Mark. I think he was uh, European Junior Champion, not World Junior. Oh, but still a, still a fantastic achievement. <laughs> but up against a uh, world One silver medalist in Robert Blair, 2006 exactly. in Madrid. I was there at that event. Yeah, as I was too. And all was that an all GB it was, final? Yeah. It was in men's yeah. doubles. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Mm. One, the Irish boys came together this year only a month ago. Two, first tournament out was the Irish Future Series, playing really uh, boxing well below their weight in that uh, tournament, winning it easy. Yeah, Blair and Bin Chen have, I think, what you could call an occasional partnership. Um, <laughs> Robert very much at the moment concentrating on mixed with Imogen Bank here mm -hmm. in preparation for next year's games. But they do play together from time to time in, in men's doubles. Yeah, I think they also play in the German Two, league three. as a partnership. They, yes, so they play league matches. Yeah. Yeah. Service over, 4-2. A nice deep angle on the smash from Johnny Dolan. Service over, 3-4. Tall guy, still a junior. Bad error, yeah, and you yeah. can see Sam shadowing yeah, the shot. <coughs> five, three. Good start. For the men in black. <laughs> a little bit well, of luck from Jonathan Dolan. <laughs> Great reflex return. Five, yeah. Dolan watching it drift over the baseline. Six, five. And a good spell on the serve of Sam McGee. The Irish taking a slender one point lead. Another flick serve. This time, no mistake from Robert Blair. There no, there is a risk, I think, against the, the taller player to, to play too many flick serves. Unless you see him really moving forward, it's probably safer just to... Service fault. Seven, 
I'm oh. trying to see what double action I think the service judge was calling. I think so. Mm. Oh, well left. It says well left, yeah. Both, both of them dog thought about taking it. Service fault. Service we'll see it here. Up. Yeah. Yeah, didn't quite stop, but certainly a double action. Wild smash from Sam. Nine seven. Ten yeah, nicely seven. just taken off the net there, Bin Chen. Placement rather than power. Finishing it off, almost sending that shuttle through the floor down to Australia, but 11-7 uh, lead for the experienced duo player, Ten Bin Chen, Nivet in, giving her words of wisdom again, done a pretty good job in Scotland, fair to say that uh, from our time here. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I think we were extremely lucky to have acquired um, mm -hmm. Yvette, she's made a huge difference in some of our key players um, certainly done a fantastic job on Kirsty Gilmore, the ladies singles player I think Imogen Bank here since she Old returned from Milton Keynes is a stronger, better rounded player mm -hmm. and Robert too I think has uh, at least managed to maintain the level and I think that is of course the challenge just with, for players as they pass the 30 year old mark it's very much about maintenance seven, rather than improvement He's been at the very top of the game, and keeping him as near to that as possible is is Yves. Yeah. Roll. When we talk about these players, and we see Kirsty coming through, and what else is 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 there a system to bring these kids through in Scotland? Yes, and in fact, it's ongoing in this very building at the moment. Mm -hmm. The uh, national junior coach, Nine, Diana Kaleva, yeah. will be working in the practice hall with the uh, under-12 squad. She's responsible for six-year-olds right up to 17. Okay. Uh, they, most of them practice four or five times a week, uh, and it's under Yvette's guidance, so Diana's teaching what Yvette needs for kids when they get to so sort of 18, 19 Ten, years old. 11. So we have a rolling program starting at six years old. Relentless attack, there player from the on. rear court, Bin Chen finishing it off at the net. Right in the head. Yeah. It does look to me that, like so many experienced players in early rounds, they're happy to stay two or three points ahead. Mm. They're not looking to rush away. challenge now for the Irish boys is to find some way of not giving away the attack quite so much. They're going to try and get back into this. That's one way. Good aggressive flat return of serve. Yeah.
service over. 15, 11. Very quick crack at head speed there from Vincent to take that. 11. Blair Binchen certainly playing comfortably within themselves right now. Swing from Dolan. But again. 18, 11. Yeah, Blair and Binshen, I think, just showing that they're very comfortable in defence as well as being strong in attack. It's going to take a bit more firepower to get through them. Yeah, they can just soak it up. Betcha there. Service over. 12, 18. Again, variation on the serve from Sam McGee serving out wide. 13, 18. Bearing fruit. Yeah, he got a loose nest shot there from mm. Ben Chen, one of the few he's played. Just relax a little bit too much here, I think. Uh, Blair and Ben Shen just need to refocus. Initially, a good interception from Sam. Good awareness. And Robert Wright really awake at the net. Yeah, good serve. 20 game point. Tight 14. to the net. Six game points on the serve of Robert Blair. That's it. First game yeah. to Blair and Bin Shen. And as predicted, they're looking. Very comfortable and playing within themselves, quite comfortably within themselves. The Irish boys looking a little bit erratic <laughs> and uh, First game on almost all over the place, but uh, certainly the quality of Blair and his Malaysian partner, occasional a Malaysian partner, Bin Shen, coming to the fore, certainly towards the end of that game. You were talking a little bit there about uh, Yvette Yun Lo, the now national coach for Scotland, and her impact here. I think it is quite interesting when you bring in an, an Asian coach, and although she had coached in both England and Australia, her approach is still very Chinese. Yeah. Um, and she's had to adapt a lot. It's not just the players who have to change to her way. She's had to adapt to what's acceptable in Western culture and what's possible in Western culture. Um, and I think it's a great credit to her that she has come to terms with where the boundaries are mm. uh, with Western athletes. And I think she's, she's managed to probably maximize the potential of all the players in her squad. They're all on, on the line that they should be on, and she's brought that about. Uh, be interesting to see if she can crown that with a medal at the Commonwealth Games, mm. which was what she was appointed to do. Uh, and she certainly created more opportunities than we thought we would probably have. Um, I think Scotland's going into these games with ladies singles, ladies doubles, mixed doubles, and 
an outside chance of a team medal. Mm. Uh, whereas originally, I think one medal was Double. the most we were so regarding as a possibility. In Babington, of course, in the Commonwealth Games, the major competition to Scotland would have come from the Indians. India, Malaysia, Malaysia. Yeah, Singapore, mm -hmm. and one England lot. will probably be the main rivals. Mm -hmm. Malaysia and India are very strong in world badminton, of course. Yeah, better play from the Irish. If Robert has a weakness sometimes it can be just this lack of focus when he switches off after winning a first game yeah and it could go five nil down in the second before he realizes oh, some work to be done here well actually happened to them in their mix this morning they took a comfortable first set yeah. they lost the second yeah they were very I, w I won't say poor they just switched off in the second yeah, they dropped down a gear there mm. so one three and the Irish boys have to now try and take advantage of that. Two, three. Yeah, better play again from the Irish. Four, two. A little bit more proactive in attack. Five, two. Chen guilty there, just a little lapse in concentration, not controlling the shuttle. I don't know what you think, Mark, but Bincheni doesn't really look like he holds his racket high, but the speed with which he gets up to make these interceptions is quite amazing. Yeah, agreed. Four, five. Out. Yeah, Rizova, he six, he looks a little bit disinterested at the moment. He, he to be, does to be really, fair. yeah. yeah. Seven, four. This will be his first game in this hall, of course. The other three have all played. Uh, it does take it just a little while for them to adjust. Right idea from Dolan there, just mm. couldn't quite bring it off. Broadcast the serve out wide though, he almost stopped when he turned and then played it. What I liked was though, he knew where the return was coming. Yeah, and he so had he was there, he had his record up. Just, yeah. Which is also an indication to his partner what he's covering. Yeah. 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 Just Six, finding the gap. Eight. Over Sam's racket head. Seven, eight. Over nine seven. The Irish just managing to maintain this two point lead. Seven, 
Good rally. Yeah, well played. Yeah, nice cross there. Saw Robert just slightly out of position and off balance there and turned him at the net. Choice from yeah. Johnny. Tamping Shane all over it at the net. That's one of Sam's probably failings in the game. He's just not that powerful from the rear court. Mm, it's quite a serious weakness to have in top level men's yeah. doubles nowadays. Yeah. Call against Sam. Uh, I'm not happy about that. It's interesting because I don't think either of the players on the other side saw it as a fault. We'll see it on replay. No, I don't. Oh, I think it was a double hit. Ah. Maybe. Certainly something hit the net, but we couldn't quite see it. But uh, I think maybe there was a double hit in the first, second yeah. point in that exchange. Yeah, maybe see it from this angle. Oh, he hit the net. Oh, yeah, he yeah, hit the yeah, net. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh. Certainly hit the net on that occasion. Good call from the umpire. As you would hope from a Scottish umpire. <laughs> <laughs> There's none of that in badminton. <laughs> good calls. No, they all make good calls. 11 <laughs> 10, interval. Interval lead again for Bin Shin and Blair. Yeah, a little frustrating for the Irish boys. I'm sure they thought when they had a the couple of points lead that they were there was a real chance to get back in this and then to go into the turn the point down again would be a little bit dispiriting. Yeah. Irish coach Dan McGee, brother of Sam. Scott Evans, the Irish singles player also there. Quite interesting, just the different coaching philosophies as well. Two coaches on each bench, and the Irish choosing to send both out at the break, the Scots just sending one out. Um, Certainly, it's the vet's belief that one person talking to players at a break is more yeah, productive than two because you can get mixed messages. Four. There's no time to correct them. Yeah, I would agree with her in that one. I think Dan and the Irish side, that's his job, but I think Scott was not, not going to go out. <laughs> yeah. Knowing Scott, <laughs> he was going to go out and give his top of the yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder, actually, is there actually need in badminton for coaching in intervals? It's an interesting question. Mm. Um, I think the, well, the problem that coaching has brought about is there are so many players now in the circuit who don't really understand how to think for themselves. Yeah. So they go on with a game plan and the game plan doesn't change until the break at 11 regardless of whether it's working or not. So they become coach dependent. Mm -hmm. But then you see in the other side of it, I've seen, let's take, we, we, we'll take the Dutch as an example. The Dutch who have gone through so many turmoils financially and everything within their federation. Yes. And you see all the players literally now having to fend for themselves. Yeah. But you yeah, can see it working. Because they've become more independent and have to think for themselves and they're developing more, in my opinion, as players and as people 
having to fend for themselves. I think it'll be interesting to see how long that continues. Yeah. Um, because you, you, there's that sense of freedom when you when you start out having to fend for, for yeah. yourself. Yeah. Uh, but I suspect there'll come a time or a level you get to where actually you need you need the input. Yeah. Okay. But probably not to the extent that it's involved in the game now. <laughs> You know, every single break between games and every game, and from the back of the court, of course, between rallies. Mm -hmm. It can be quite interesting, actually, just to study the body language of the coaches during matches, as well as just watching what the players are doing. Oh, nice. They got out of that. <laughs> they were in real trouble there. Two opportunities on the other side to kill that. Again, the yeah. opportunity was there for Sam. They did all the hard work in defense, the Irish. I think you would call it a healthy two-point lead, considering yep. where they were at the beginning of, the, of this game. Yeah, nice switch back cross court from Sam. 15-16. Not quite, uh, didn't quite come off the center in the sweet spot of the racket. Slightly mistimed, but uh, I think they'll take it. I think he'd claim that's where he was aiming for. <laughs> well, yeah, the he angle he had the racket yeah, head at, sure. it was a miss hit, but that's where he was going. Great defense. Yeah, they saw it through in the end, the Irish, but really great defense early in that rally. Yeah, Ben Chen, very Chen. strong, yeah. 16, 17. This time, Sam finishing it off yep. for the first time of asking. And the Irish level it up at 17 all again. This time it's Johnny Dolan's turn to defend. To get up, you know, he's struggling to get it. Yeah, he's left getting court. shorter there. Yeah. And so yeah. Lift after lift, but shorter and shorter they got.
Some good rallies in this match, in this game. Yeah, this is... Tan stepping in. Oh, well played, Robert yeah. Blair. And the crowd like it. Good rally. conversation between Robert and the service judge and yeah, not much being said between the Irish boys it's quite disappointing to lose that kind of rally at this yeah. stage of the game one one point away from a match point now taking their time though which is sensible mm -hmm. just compose themselves <laughs> Gotta love a bit of flair. Yeah, the flick serve. Yeah. Twenty match point seventeen. And as the umpire calls it, match point to Robert Blair and Tan Bin Chen. Service over. Eighteen twenty. McGee makes them wait just a little bit longer. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Again, quick feet from Robert to get back behind the shuttle and the flick serve. The two well controlled smashers for the win. Good fight from the Irish in the second. I certainly put it up that are more experienced, more illustrious uh, opponents. Robert Blair, two wins today with Imogen nice earlier Robert in the mix and now in the men's doubles. That's the end of Irish interest. Oh no, we still have the mixed doubles, of course. Uh, in the competition, we see a replay here of the final point. Very quick to get back behind the shuttle and then a flying smash. No chance for Jonathan Dolan. And it's Robert Blair, Dan Binshen, who advance to the next round. Some entertaining rallies in that, though, Mark, I think, and possibly a decent potential partnership for the Irish in the future, do you think? Yeah, well, certainly Jonathan Dolan has, has potential and has uh, a lot about him as both a singles and doubles player. Yeah. So um, it's been a while, I suppose Sam McGee and his age group are the last bunch of good youngsters yes. to come through. So we need something and uh, certainly some substance in Johnny. He likes to play, he likes to practice again, and he, he has the will and the drive to do it. So that's a, And, of course, things are going quite well in terms of the federation back in Ireland, trading as a, at a profit again, and after some disastrous years, yeah, that was under great the influence that, yeah. of uh, Richard Vaughan, who's done amazing work there. Yes, so uh, yeah. our next match on court will be the final match of the day on our streaming court. Mixed doubles is going to be England. Top seeds, Langridge and Oliver against for Scotland, Patrick McHugh and Caitlin Pringle.